What's the best savory food creation in Good Mythical Morning history? Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning. We are about to re-indulge in some of the best dishes ever made on this show. But before we do, this episode is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. With HelloFresh's fit and wholesome recipes, you can indulge in delicious meals without the worries. With HelloFresh, produce gets from the farm to your doorstep in under a week for peak freshness. I'm a fan of peak freshness. Out of all the freshnesses out there, it's the best freshness, I believe. Well, you know what, now that you mention it, yeah, I am also a fan of peak freshness. Well, that is one more thing that we have in common. I appreciate that about you. <laughs> HelloFresh is a can't beat value. It's pre-portioned ingredients, meaning you don't waste money on excess food. And they offer so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut like these firecracker meatballs with roasted green beans and jasmine rice. Firecracker? Get yourself a bite, my friend. Oh, nice. Is that good? I'm, I'm tasting the jasmine. I'm tasting there's, no, the firecracker. It's a little bit, a little bit spicy. Yeah. So, go to HelloFresh.com and use code GMM16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. That's HelloFresh.com and use code GMM16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. All right, for years, y'all been asking for us to recreate the most famous dishes ever made on GMM and pit them against each other, and now we're doing it, and you know why? Cause it's our 10 year anniversary, baby! The celebration continues. And also it's March, which means we're in the mood for big multi-day tournaments, especially if they feature team snacks over team sports. So uh, we're kicking it off today with the best savory dishes of GMM history, and then tomorrow we're gonna be doing the best sweet dishes. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Friday, it's the worst overall dishes. Not looking forward to Friday. But in mere mythical seconds, mastication will commence upon savory dishes, most gourmets, until we can name the best we've ever met. <laughs> Which delectable dish will titillate our tingling taste buds and take the top prize to be forever known as the favorite of these two guys? It's time for Meals of Mythicality, Best Savory Food! <sighs> So, in order to determine our matchups, over 20,000 of you and the Mythical Crew voted to create the killer matchups of incredible dishes that we are gonna be tasting today. And manning the tournament board is our very own tournament board supervisor, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Look at you, making your way into a different format. It looks very mm -hmm. happy. You naughty cow. Oh. <laughs> All right, do you know how to work that thing? Don't be so bashful. So without further ado, the top eight dishes are Animal Style In-N-Out Mac and Cheese, Uncrustables Chicken Sandwich, Grilled Cheese Ramen, Wendy's Baconator Lasagna, KFC Chipotle Burrito Drumstick, Doritos Big Mac, Orange Chicken Parm, and Popeye's Breakfast Burrito. I almost said orange chicken parmesan, what? but then I said parm. Yeah, well, I understood. In the end, only one dish will be given the honorable title of our Lord and Savior, <laughs> and will receive the golden halo. So let's eat. Okay, we're starting out with our first seed, animal style, in and out mac and cheese yes. up against our eight seed, Uncrustables chicken sandwich. So this mac and cheese again, mm -hmm. this is macaroni made out of dehydrated In-N-Out French fries. Then you got the secret animal uh, style spread and American cheese on top. And then some caramelized onions as well. Don't forget the French fry breadcrumbs. French fry breadcrumbs, right? Crumbs, crumb, crumbs. <laughs> Bread crumbs. Right. Bread crumbs, be careful. So, I mean, the miraculous thing here is that you made pasta out of French fries. Yep, a labor Actually of from in and out Oh yeah. And I remember, I mean this is from 2019, Will It Mac and Cheese, and I just remember feeling so strongly about this in the moment. Let's Dink see if it? it, sink it returns to that glory. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's just so decadent. Like it feels like it's about to be too much. You about to choke and die? Yeah, it's about to be too much, but then it's like, no, I'm just right. Yeah, and you know what? I'm, I'm gonna take note of when I wanna go in for another bite, but I'm not gonna do it. I want to. Because that is the data I need to determine which one I'm going for first. Over here, the Uncrustables chicken sandwich. 
grab your half of this. You got an uncrustable on top, you got an uncrustable on the bottom, not a sponsor. And then right here in the middle, you've got fried chicken cutlet dipped in peanut butter, mm. dipped in jelly, mm. with a peanut butter covered pickle hiding underneath. This is not too long ago. My, my birthday, October 11th, 2021. Smuckers Uncluckables is what we called it. It's still good. But let's be real. Oh man. It's amazing, yet strange. The peanut butter and the jelly, they do something to the fried chicken that is a little bit unexpected. I like it, but it's not like the best thing I've ever tasted, which this <clears throat> might be. A little bit of school lunch and a lot of chicken sandwich does not yeah. beat it out. So the In-N-Out animal style mac and cheese is moving on and uh -huh. gonna, we're gonna bring this back. So we'll get more in a little bit. Yes, Michelle, move it on, girl. Oh. Why, how? I, what kind of magic did you just do with your hoof? Did it, I mean, did you really do that or was that just like a timing thing? Uh, okay, yeah. okay. Like taking all Good the credit, just like Vanna. These are tightly seated. Whew. Number four, we've got grilled cheese ramen. A beautiful a situation. Yeah. Up against the number five seed, Wendy's Baconator Lasagna. Boy, these both made an impression. This is from 2019 Willet Ramen. You got the cheddar broth, tomato soup noodles, deep fried soft boiled egg crushed and bread comes in the, crumbs in. Then, hey, I keep you saying wanna, that. I don't wanna say that word Bread today. comes. And then pork grilled cheese sandwich arranged on top. I mean, look at that. That's just a pork grilled cheese sandwich. Let's dig uh. in. I wanna show off these nudes, man. Look at how amazing and cheesy that looks. Man. Let me get some, some broth. Of this cheese broth. And then just look at that breadcrumb egg. And Nicole, remind me, what, what's in the middle of this? That's a pork slice in the middle of my grilled cheese? Yeah, so it's chashu pork, which mm -hmm. is traditionally in ramen with some yeah. American cheese and just griddled like an OG American I mean, cheese. It's so good. So much American cheese. Yep, I'm wanting to go back immediately. That broth. That's saying a lot. Broth. But instead of going back to that, we are gonna go back to January 11th of 2021 for uh, Willet Lasagna, season premiere of season 19. I remember like it was a year ago. Do you? <laughs> no. Oh, you're going off of that one, huh? I'll go off of the I'm same going one. Off of it. Um, pasta dough with American cheese in the pasta dough. Mm -hmm. uh, Sauce with hamburger meat and bacon, of course. Bun, bread crumbs, and topped with more cheese. So much cheese in this round. I, can you just, can you just like both of them? Do you, do you have to choose? <laughs> I got two children. I mean, I like one of them a little bit more than the other, but I mean, <laughs> really, I love them equally. I love the taste of both of these, but there's something about the diff, the way that, I would have thought you would have said this already, the way lasagna comes together in one bite that is everything concentrated into one thing. That's true. Whereas this is an egg, noodles, broth, grilled cheese. It's a whole meal in and of itself, but I don't know if it really represents the perfect bite. No, but that's not the only criteria, my man. This is so <sighs> cheese dominant that I'm not actually, I didn't, honestly I didn't experience any bacon and it's called a Baconator. I think you would expect for us to be talking about bacon just as much as cheese, right? It, I don't think it happened. This over here, hmm. there's a little bit of variety. It, okay. there, there's, a, there's an unfolding experience and I didn't even get the egg, that like scotch egg type situation. Well, cause you're afraid of a yolk. No. It's okay. No, I wanna go back in and get some All of right. that. All right, well, you know what? You'll have the opportunity to do that because I agree with you. Ha. As great as this is, <gasps> the bacon. What? what, what? Oh. No, do you need another opinion? Now, <laughs> the mythical crew. You can't do this. Including you Stevie. You can't do this. Well, you knew it was gonna be Link that was they gonna have screw a your pool. bracket up. They have a pool and uh, we have a trophy for the winner. I think we're gonna try to, we're gonna, <laughs> Unveil that in Good Mythical More when the tournament's over. But Stevie, it seems like you, I just you I feel like you're judging. I mean, you know, maybe there was less maybe there was less bacon in this particular iteration because <laughs> I remember when you had it the first time, you really were leaning into the bacon, you really loved it, and I, mean, I agree about bite. the biteability and the I'll portability. I was ready to hey, I was ready to call Michelle in to do a tiebreaker. But Nicole, did you do a bracket? No, I was busy cooking all the stuff. Exactly. I don't have time. Which one is your choice? It's the ramen. <laughs> uh, okay, then that's what we're going with. Sorry, Stevie. 
It, it, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it is incredible. We'll talk about this later, Nicole. It's, it's incredible. incredible. <laughs> All right, Michelle, did you do a bracket? Okay, good. See, you're impartial. Move, move the ramen along, please. It's magic. <laughs> it's never magic. gets old. And Stevie, when you see that happen, you forget all of your worries. I don't think so. I accept it. All right, we've got our third seed, KFC Chipotle Burrito Drumstick going yes. against our sixth seed, the Doritos Big Mac. Now, the KFC, this is from the KFC and Chipotle mashup menu taste test. This uh -huh. is a bucket of KFC fried chicken, drumsticks, of course, coated in shredded Chipotle barbacoa, black beans, queso, guacamole, wrapped in a tortilla, and then deep fried. Don't eat the string. Oh, God. Dink it. Dunk it. Doink it <laughs> and swink it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, man. oh my freaking gosh. I feel like we're gonna get struck by lightning. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting guacamole. I just feel like the karma in the universe is like, you can't have this good of a time. Nope. Someone has to die. Nope. I it's think it's gonna be you. No, what's gonna <laughs> happen is Friday's gonna happen. Uh, I wanna take a Barbacoa. Oh, you see, there you go. You can't resist um, it. You you think that I think we talked about oh this gosh. last time, but the guacamole. You're like oh guacamole has been deep fried. It, it works. Oh my gosh! It doesn't so have good. the cold, sort of, or even room temperature quality that guacamole usually has. But it, oh my somehow gosh. it works. Look at this amazing creation from July twenty seventh, twenty twenty, episode seventeen eighty. <laughs> Thanks for the good details. mythical summer premiere. We have got Dorito-fied Big Mac. I'm making a mess. Tapatio Dorito crusted burger buns. OG Dorito infused special sauce. Spicy nacho cheese. Cool ranch infused burger patties. Fried onions battered with Doritos crumbs. Flaming hot lemon. Hmm. Doritos pickles. D did I get my mouth around this last time? Mm -mm. You kind of compressed it. Okay. Compress it. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. A lot of corniness. It's really, really, really good. The meat is something, I'm kind of hanging on to the meat here in terms of like something that gets me out of Dorito land. I like the spicy kick. I'm really into this. Something about the Doritos, if I'm finding a thing to be critical of, the Doritos create a crunch that makes me, is reminiscent of a stale bun. Does that make sense? So like from a texture standpoint, yeah, I'm thinking about the bun kind of giving, but then it's got this hard thing on the outside that just like does something to my mind. I'm just kind of trying to find, I'm stretching to find something to not like about it. I think the Doritos are soaking up moisture. I feel sad that it's this great. has to go, but this right here, this right here. It's so special. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey. Oh, look how much grease this, just came out of there. Yeah, it's held it, it up. This is, all the grease is soaked up, so if you don't have the grease fun either. Okay, so the uh, the fried chicken drumsticks, Chipotle KFC drumsticks, they're moving on. Michelle, do your magic oh, touch. What are you? you Focus, you, this, this is not time for your gram. Yeah, social media time. There you oh, go. Nice. Do you have an Instagram? I'm just thinking about it. Last up in our preliminary rounds. Oh, you remember the orange chicken oh, parm yeah. at seed number two versus the number seven seed Popeye's breakfast burrito. Now, this orange chicken parm wasn't too long ago, November 2021. And if you remember, it was also voted the number one food creation of 2021 for the show. I just remember being blown away by this thing. Oh, yeah. I'm glad that we're getting to experience it again. Good gracious. I had somebody just come up to me on the street and talk about this. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh man. I mean, oh, oh, oh. not at all. You must have gotten a hot spot. <laughs> it's everything that you love about orange chicken and that tanginess with a bunch of cheese on it. I mean, it's it's so simple and why I like it. You mm -hmm. know, it's it's not, it's not trying it's too a green hard. Onion. It doesn't have too many ingredients. It's just balanced. It's like a dish that was supposed to happen, that the universe wanted to birth, and it just happened to happen on our show. It's wonderful. Oh, no, it just didn't happen on our show. It happened on purpose, right? It was Nicole? destiny. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Popeye's breakfast burrito is the underdog here. You poach the eggs and gravy. Mm -hmm. You got Cajun rice mashed tater hash brown, pickle and spicy mayo salsa, and chicken tender chorizo. Refresh my memory 
on how and what that is. Yeah, so I just chopped up a bunch of chicken tenders. I added some chorizo spices, some vinegar, some chilies, and I cooked it down and mashed it into a beautiful chorizo. Right. And this was October 12th, 2020. It is beautiful. We called it the Louisiana Slamma. Let's do it. It's very rich. Hmm. It's very good. I'm having a difficult time mm -hmm. differentiating the flavors almost. Do you know it, what I'm saying? It's well, it's still very Popeyes. This is great, but it ain't that. Yeah, you I mean, knew that. Yeah, it, the orange chicken parm, Gotta a move clear on. winner. Michelle, push it. Uh, nice. Yeah, she tapped it. Welcome to the semifinals. The number one seed, Animal Style, in and out mac and cheese up against the number four seed, Grilled Cheese Ramen. Okay, it's still a cheese battle in this bracket, Well, cheese, cheese showed up a lot. Savory, savory, and I'm gonna try to get more of the... Actual mac. And the sauce. It really is amazing how the mac tastes like fries, but behaves like mac. I mean, I will say that having so much good stuff in a row, yeah, so th there's a little note of, is this too much? Could you keep eating this? Too much of a good thing, a it, couple of bites in. It kind of hit me. Now, Ramen, I want to apologize for what you might have heard Stevie say in the previous round. Yeah, you Don't take it personally. You ruined it for her. It's not that she doesn't love you, it's just that she loves her bracket more. Wow, I mean, because the cheese is in the broth, it creates the flavor of cheese without the overwhelming Look at that. presence of cheese. Do you know, does that, does that make sense? Like, yeah, it's so such a strong cheese flavor. You already said your piece about how much you like this. I, I love it even more the second I've time. I've come around completely, because I never, good Lord, I never thought when I tasted this, I thought we had hit like a peak on the show, but now I'm kind of understanding the subtlety of this coming back to it after I've tried eight things. I would make a meal out of this. This is a great side. The reason that I didn't like it before is becoming the reason that I do like it. Yeah. yeah. What a twist and turn we find ourselves in. <laughs> we are choosing the grilled cheese ramen. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, loaded in and out mac and cheese. You've got to go. Stevie, you can have this. I think we're all having a great time. Michelle doesn't agree either. Too late. Ramen moves on. Yeah. To the finals. Ramen, who knew? Me. Number three seed, KFC Chipotle burrito drumstick. Number two seed, orange chicken parm. Let's go back. I'm going to the back end. Now this may I'm going up my barbacoa right out. I'm going into the same spot. Oh, got all the way to the chicken that time. Is you know it, what it's reminiscent of? What? Avocado egg rolls. At Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory, which are a fried thing that has avocado in it that you wouldn't think. It's like, that's the point of reference for me. And it really, yeah, really works. Yeah, the friedness of the chicken is kind of like the friedness of the, the egg roll. Good gosh, it's good. I love it. Okay, and then back here. Again. I'm gonna try to get another, and the second bite, when you get into more of the chicken, I mean, you're just left with a KFC drumstick, and that, there's nothing to complain about there, you know? Hopefully this isn't as hot the second time. Is it hot? I'm gonna put some of that green I think you got a hot spot. My mouth is very confused. This is more orangey this time. This is crazy, because it's like deep fried piece of chicken, and it's kind of like getting into that state fair place, but there's something like, this could be a dish at a sit-down restaurant. At a sit-down restaurant. Think, but you, you pointed out something that still makes it difficult for me because I love to go to the fair and see s some new ingenuity they're charging way too much money for. But there's a string. I do, Isn't that a demerit? I, yes, it is. I don't like the string. This is gimmicky. This makes total sense. It's like, why hasn't this been done? I'm on chicken parm, so I mean, if you are, we can move along. If you're not, we can get Michelle to do a tiebreaker. I mean, she wants to. Look at her, she's very anxious to. I'm not gonna be hurt either way. Uh, I don't like relinquishing control. Okay, good. Uh, but I, I gotta stand up for the KFC Chipotle burrito. Okay, so all right, Michelle, come in. Now again, Michelle uh, is a vegetarian uh, and actually doesn't have a functioning mouth. So she just will point at the thing that she prefers. This one's got a farm animal in it. Of course, I guess that same farm yeah, animal's there's chicken, over here. There's chicken in both of them. <laughs> the bone of the farm animal this is in that This one does have actual cow in it, though. Just I mean, barbacoa, but I mean, you know, use your own judgment. 
<laughs> oh, that chicken parm moves on. I don't know how you feel about someone breaking a tie without ever tasting it, uh, but. I mean, somebody had to do it. Somebody had to do it. Um, Michelle, again, you didn't fill out a bracket. Okay, good. All right, move on. The chicken parm. Move on. That's the most sad that I've been, and I didn't think not anything would make me sad today. I'm sorry. All right, this one's for all the savory marbles. We've got the number four seed grilled cheese ramen competing with the number two seed orange chicken parm. Oh gosh, remember this? We've I been did. eating it. I've been it, throughout the whole. And again, this is the real test. Coming day. back to it again. And I, I want to go back to both of these. Still good. I want to go back. I wonder if any, has anybody nailed it so far? Anybody in the room? Any perfect brackets? Yes, there is someone, and his name is Kevin. Oh, we have two, and Amy. What? I'm less, I'm, I'll be less mad about Amy and somehow mad about <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Come on, let Amy have it, Stevie. Yeah, I said, I'm, I'm excited about Amy, but Kevin. <laughs> I've been totally converted on this one. The grilled cheese with the, with the pork slab, what do you call it? Chashu pork. Pork slab. In the middle is just, it's just so nice. And you could make it spicy. Of course. Yeah, I mean, this one's not spicy. But you could, I mean, if you wanted to, you could. You could I mean, how would you make it spicy? With some spice. It's still grilled cheesy. Uh, what Rhett said, yeah. Yeah, you just put some spice in there. <laughs> could you get? Could you do a cooking lesson with Link on how to make things spicy? That would be so fun. It's like, man, late. Christy, today, you know what I learned? I don't know how they make things spicy. You yeah, add spices. They do stuff. it with spice. <laughs> yeah, add spicy stuff to something and it makes it spicy. Now I've been converted on this, but I was already a member of this religion. Okay, I was already a member of the chicken parm cult. So this is not over by any means. It's fried. It's draped in cheese. This is so difficult for me. It's got that orange chicken goodness. First of all, let me just say, I feel so strongly about these two being in the final. Having tasted all eight. Yeah. I could keep coming back to one of these. It's not just a side, I want, but I can't decide. I'm gonna have to go with which one's more helpful. Well, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I, so do you wanna do a three, two, one and put your hand over the one that you think's better? Yeah. Because so we don't influence each other. I've tasted both of them. Am I, I allowed to give the three, two, one or am I compromised? You can do the, you can do the three, two, one as long as you don't do it in a suggestive way. <laughs> if it's not like grilled cheese ramen, Grilled cheese ramen. Grilled yeah, right, cheese right, ramen. right, right, right. Three, two, one. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh! We got. Oh shoot, man! You went. We flipped the script. Ah! Oh! Why? Why? Why did you go that way? Listen, I'm surprised. I, I I try to taste both of them, but the beauty of this one keeps overwhelming me. Like I love this one, but like I've grown to love this one, and it kind of it went it surpassed. I mean. Are we, are we gonna have to bring a cow that can't taste in to make this decision? It just seems poetic. I'm, I was teetering so much. It was almost like, it was like a, just a muscle, muscle flick. Like, oh, my muscle flicked this way. And it could have flicked that way. And so I'm wondering if I should change my answer. Are you okay, you wanna do another three, two, one? Because. And just go three, with your soul this time? I just love the fact two. that this is a complete experience. Okay. Do it again. Three, two. One. <laughs> look, hey, look, Mushel's over here. I, I can live with it. I think they're absolutely, completely tied, but only one can move forward, and I'll, I'll, I'll let a mute cow make the decision. <laughs> so there it is, our Lord and Savor. <laughs> We're right under here. Oh, look, we. This is as close as we can get to a halo. Oh. Orange chicken parm is the best savory dish in the history of Good Mythical Morning. Let's see it. Move it on. Move it. Oh, that's be it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I, listen, I don't I don't feel bad at all. No, about no, well, no, no, no. I will tell you that zero mythical crew members <laughs> won today. <laughs> wow, you guys had ramen going all the way to the end. That's wow, cool. That's it's crazy. anybody's game going into tomorrow and come back because we're going with the sweetest creations in good mythical history over ten years, y'all. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Give me. I'm Sana. And I'm Ryan. And we're in West Lafayette, Indiana. Eating our orange chicken parm. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the, the wheel of mythicality. mythicality. Think, Think it. it.
Roll call. Mm. What are the chances? Yeah. A hundred percent, probably. Click the top link At to watch point. us discover a salty new spin on one of our favorite games, The Whisper Challenge in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Keep your cool in the kitchen when handling heat with the Mythical Kitchen Oven Mitts available now at mythical.com.